Hello and welcome to Let's Talk. In this week's episode we're going to be talking about Star Trek and sci-fi and all that kind of stuff. If you like what we're talking about please click on the notification symbols and the bell and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Star Trek is one of those programs that I've been watching since hmm, the mid 60s and it replaced the Doctor Who slot on the Saturday evening. It's one of those kind of programs that sort of kept with us. I remember going to the cinema in 1980 to see the movie after the TV series. I used to watch the cartoon series when it came out and watched all the movies year in year out as they went on including the last few. And obviously we've been watching things like Star Trek, Discovery more recently, Voyager, Enterprise, Deep Space Nine, all of those. And today was the first time I've ever worn something like this. So this, this was just for this session and maybe a few others. So obviously sci-fi has been something that has influenced a lot of my life in the stories that are told because I felt that you can explore things that you don't seem to be able to explore in other genres. And I remember also being around about 19, reading a lot of Philip K. Dick stories on the multiverse and all the strange things that were happening across different universes and time and all that kind of stuff. Love time travel, which is where the Doctor Who stuff comes in. Another influence around about from the 60s onwards has been the likes of Jerry Anderson's shows like Thunderbirds, Captain Scarlet, Joe 90, all those kind of things. And then in the late 70s, Space 1999 would have been an influence. I used to make a lot of the models back then. And of course, more recently, you can make models in 3D and print them out on the printer, such as the phaser I've printed out recently, which isn't ready yet for this show, but we'll find it for another time. So the story that we've been developing for From Above has been influenced by a lot of that kind of genre. Garvin had actually mentioned that he felt the story was a 1960s story and we should modernize it. And then I suddenly thought, oh yeah, well maybe the main character or one of the characters has actually driven into this little village and actually is from the 1960s and is actually trying to find a way to come to terms with all this modern technology, which he thinks is really out there. And that would help with him feeling alienated in this modern world. It also is generating within us this sense that we can explore more into those concepts of bringing people from different times into our time. The idea of acclimatizing to the, the world in this little village for aliens and time travelers and the likes of so that they can get used to hopefully what they will be exploring as they go for a holiday perhaps on this planet. We're exploring the ideas of what kind of spaceships we should be designing. I've messed around in Blender with a little idea. I'm thinking of the, the little Morris Miner that I produced not so long ago and seeing if we can develop that and turn it into a 3D model that we can print out using the 3D printer. So we've got the option for model animation, traditional model animation. We've also got the option of 3D animation on the computer. So it'll be interesting to see and explore those sort of ideas. Lots of fun ahead and we'll see how things go. I'd also like to encourage you to uh, not only subscribe to my channel, but also to subscribe to 52 Jokers Wild, which we've just launched today also. And we're exploring, again, the filmmaking techniques on both these channels, and more and more we'll be aligning ourselves to what we're doing. So storytelling, sci-fi, experiential holidays in filmmaking, and starting to get into the juicy bits of making films, both through animation and live action. So I hope you'll join us on that journey and look forward to talking to you next week to see how things have developed. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell for the latest releases. Thanks for watching.